So guys, today we will be heading back to the other. What's going on guys? I'm Relatable Gaming and welcome back. What the heck was that? What in the world? There shouldn't be any even mobs able to spawn here. Okay, what was that? I, I didn't see anything up top. What? The baby Leviathan, what is this thing? I don't know, but it's got a thousand. Oh my God, it's so loud. It dropped an abyssal egg from Cataclysm. I have no idea what that even does, but that thing was really aggravating me. That's right, we're going to be trying to find another dungeon. It's one that we have not found yet. We found the pyramid, but there's another one. I don't remember what it's called. I can right click this. There you go. It's just called All the Modium Dungeon. And it actually managed to locate one right nearby. I'm very surprised at that. I thought that we were never going to find one because they spawn like 10,000 blocks away from you. All right, so I think we found it. And I think this thing is going to be kind of a pain. Not kind of a pain. I think this thing's going to be a massive pain in the butt to go through. But let me go ahead and get my Silk Touch pickaxe. And I'm just going to start running in. I, I don't think we'll be able to really die necessarily. I think it's just going to kind of suck. But yeah, we're going to have a lot of creepers to deal with, I imagine. And we're going to have a lot of stuff trying to kill us. I don't think that I'll die. It's possible. Not. It's not impossible. I won't say that. But I think that I'm pretty safe. It's just going to be kind of annoying getting attacked constantly. I'm assuming by the time you're at this point, you're probably not hurting on netherite. But there are netherite blocks. They're at the top of the towers. You kind of have to find them. But I mean, honestly, by the time you're coming to raid this thing, you should be pretty well set on netherite. And I'm just kind of using this cheese thing or with the jetpack to get around, honestly. <laughs> so I broke these spawners in the middle and it looks like we're going to be able to go down. I think this is where we're going to start kind of finding some of the loot that I'm actually here for. Because I'm not really here for just the random mob spawners. I mean, while it is nice to get on, we're here because I want to try and find the um, smithing templates for going from... I think it's from all the modium to vibranium that we need from here, but that, that might be wrong. So I'm not going to lie, I had to go back to the base and get strapped with some insanium apples. This is about to get interesting. There's evokers. And let me just show you all this. Yeah. This is not just a normal evoker spawner, I don't think. This thing is like insane. What in the world? They're everywhere. It's probably so loud for y'all too. There's a million of them. I can't see anything. Let's go. I got what I came for. It's the unintanium smithing template. These things are so annoying. I'm so freaking ready to get out of here. Oh man. I got a lot of enchanted books, so I'm gonna come over here to the Enderman farm and drop those all off. By the way, this thing is doing amazing. Uh, Tukin had built this ton of uh, good stuff here. But yeah, I'm gonna head back to the base, and I think we're gonna go ahead and try and find the Vibranium one too. I kind of went for the harder one first on accident. The other one is much, much easier to get. You just have to find yourself a Bastion, and you'll have to kind of run around or fly around for a minute. I had to fly around for a minute. Even though it was standing out in plain sight, you're going to find yourself a piece of random soul sand. But this is suspicious soul sand. You can tell by the way it looks. It's the same as finding the other suspicious stuff. And you're going to take yourself your brush. And I'm going to brush this guy. And we should get... Yep, there it is. Our vibranium smithing template. I believe it went into my backpack. Yeah, there we go. Vibranium smithing template right there. So that got me the quest for both of the smithing templates. Of course, we never actually found the ores because we kind of skipped finding those. So we're not going to get those quests, but that's okay. It's going to be nice to at least be able to upgrade our armor up to um, unobtainium. And we can go ahead and upgrade everything up to vibranium and then to unobtainium. And it looks sick. Oh my God, this stuff looks amazing. Hold on. We're about to look so baller. Now that that's done, we're going to be getting into some more Ars Nouveau. Because today we're going to be trying to get into our very first ritual. I've never done a ritual with this mod, so we're going to see how it goes. But I'm going to have to use my little thingy thingy here. So I got to put redstone, a button, a clock, and then got to plop a source gem in the middle. And that will make me some manipulation essence. And our goal here is to get this tablet of containment 
pretty cheap recipe really for what it's going to do. All right, I believe that I should be able to take a ritual brazier, pretty easy recipe. Place this down right here, a containment jar next to it. Place this tablet of containment onto there and then activate that by right clicking it. And yep, we just got ourselves a piglet in a containment jar. Y'all, this is huge. So I'm gonna put my ritual brazier to use one more time. I've got myself a tablet of summon wilden or wilden, and I'm gonna be using that to try and get myself some new stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and activate that guy. I enchanted the crap out of my sword. This thing is insane now. So we should be able to get a ton of good stuff out of these guys with all of the looting and whatnot I've got on here. I might do this a couple times just to try and get a bunch of their loot because we're gonna be needing it in the future. All right, I wanted to show y'all this. I didn't feel like showing all the crafting on camera, but I went ahead and made myself a dimension card. Pretty easy recipe. I had to make some enderium, which not too bad of a recipe. And really we had everything else. We had the netherite, we had the unobtainium. So I just set up a pattern for it and went ahead and made it. But now I should have wireless ME all across the world. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna make my life so much better. So I'm having trouble finding Drigmies. I'm not really sure how to find them. So I made myself some of this nutritious chicken feed. Takes some XP buckets. I just used an XP drain to be able to get the buckets. And I'm gonna come and feed this guy to a chicken. And it's gonna... It's gonna tell me happy birthday. And that's all. No, I'm kidding. You get this golden egg out of that thing and I can place that down and it creates a five by five of this stuff called delightful dirt. Now I may have made a mistake by placing it in the mining dimension because it doesn't look like it's doing anything. It's supposed to spawn passive mobs and I was hoping that it would spawn Drigmies. So I haven't gotten a Drigmy quite yet, but I have gotten a couple of Starbuncles. I didn't mean to punch it. I was trying to break the grass. And I think I'm supposed to like give these guys a gold nugget. I'm gonna try to. Oh, there we go. He popped the gold nugget. Oh, there we go. We got us uh, some Starbuncle shorts. So I'm gonna throw a bunch of those on the ground. That way they'll all start picking them up. All right, I finally got one. And I'm gonna give it a Wilden Horn. I don't know if I have to. I think I have to throw it on the ground like the other thing. And there we go. And this guy should pop into a charm just like that. I'm going to see if I can get a couple more of those. Well, now that I've got myself the Drigmy short, I grab myself an enchanting apparatus and an arcane, couple of arcane pedestals. I'm going to place these down just like this. And then I'm going to take my Drigmy short and put that in the middle. Oh, I need an arcane core. That's right. I forgot about that. So it's going to be that and then enchanting apparatus on top and then pedestals around the bottom. I forgot about the arcane core. Anyways, then I can go drink me shards in there. Oh no, okay, so I have to put the recipe in first. So it's seeds, carrots, apple, wheat, and then three source gems. Three source gems, and I believe that is everything that I need. Oh, and then a piece of fish, which I grabbed from our little fish spawning area over there. And then I can click a drink me shard on there and this should get us. This is the coolest crafting thing in the world. Look at the animation for this. This should get us a drink me charm just like that. And that will allow me to spawn a drink me. So you have to have a mossy cobblestone. I'm going to place that down right there. I'm going to take this containment jar. I'm going to place that right there. And I'm over here in my mob area because I think that makes sense for what we're going to be doing. And I'm going to place this chest right there because that's the only block I have, but I'm actually going to use the drawer. And then I believe I can place this drink me down just like that. And I think he should just kind of hang out where he's at. Let's see. There we go. Yeah. So he's got his little hinge and I should just hang out right there. So the only thing is, is that guy's not going to run if we don't have source to power it. See, it's not going to do anything. So I've made myself an agronomic source link and what I'm hoping is that I can slap that bad boy right there and yep, just like that is exactly what I wanted. I can slap a source jar down near that and it's going to start filling this source jar up just like that. I'm going to take myself a source relay, place that onto there and I'm going to take another source relay and bring that over here and then I'm going to have to put down a source jar next to that. Let me go ahead and grab myself one more source jar just like that 
and I believe I can just connect these guys up. So I made a bunch of them and for whatever reason, they don't seem to want to sit on their thing. They keep jumping off of it, uh, but it seems to be working. I made myself one of these warper relays. I don't know how much of a difference it makes, but here, I'll show you the recipe for those warper. I made two of them actually. They're really not that bad. Source relay, popcorn, fruit, and some ender pearls. And I've got that guy set. It's pulling from this source jar and then it's sending to this source jar and it's working. It's working well. We've got eight piglet hearts. So of course, over time, I can I can expand this to have more Drigmies if I'd like to. But there you go. Now we've got 12 and there we go. That just got us a quest right there. Just like that. That's going to get us a rare gem bag and it's going to move us towards getting alloys. We're going to have to use a ton of power to be able to get these, which we don't have right now. So that might be something we need to upgrade. But this is awesome. We've got a funky looking drink me farm and we've got source coming over here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope y'all did enjoy today's episode. I hope you learned a little something. I definitely did. I have never used Ars Nouveau really up until this point. So I'm pretty excited to see, and look at that, that is so beautiful. Pretty excited to see where we go with that mod. But guys, I hope y'all enjoyed. As always, take care y'all. See you in the next one.